Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons. In this video going to be about molecular genetics. This question I got from one of my subscribers and here is a problem. There are 20% of adenine among the bases in DNA fragment measuring 6.8 nanometers in length. In this DNA fragment what is the number of and we have to give an answer to these four questions. Those of you who think that you can solve this problem and answer all the questions, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So first of all uh, we have to find how many bases in uh, 6.8 uh, nanometers. Uh, the distance between two adjacent uh, bases on the same strand of the DNA, like between this uh, base and this base, is 0 0.34 nanometers. So between 10 bases on the same strand of the DNA would be 3.4 nanometers and between 20 would be 6.8 nanometers. So uh, now we know that uh, we have a fragment of the DNA with 20 uh, adjacent um, bases on, on one strand. And of course uh, that means uh, that in double-stranded DNA we would have uh, 40 bases. Now let's write down positions of these bases. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And of course on the other strand of the DNA we also would have 20 bases. So I just add 20 bases for the other strand of the DNA. And uh, we told that 20% of this basis is adenine, made of adenine. So, as you see, we have 40 bases on two strands of the DNA and 20% of the 40 would be 8. So we can put, uh, for example, adenine here, adenine here here and here, so 4, and we can also add uh, 4 adenines on the other strand of the DNA. This not necessary have to be equal quantity of the adenines on both strands. We can put all 8 adenines on one strand also. So we just put randomly, and of course adenine base pairs with thymine. So if we have 20% of adenines, we instantly know that we also have 20% of thymines in this DNA fragment. And the rest, um, 60%, would be cytosine and guanine. Once again, we have 20% adenine, 20% thymine, so uh, this two makes 40%, so 60% of the whatever left would be cytosine and guanine. So let's put random, randomly cytosine and guanine on both strands. And these two bases make another 60%. So total number of bases is 40. So now we can uh, answer our questions. So the first question is uh, what is the number of deoxyribose here? Once again if we return to this picture you would see that number of uh, sugars equal to number of bases. 
So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bases here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sugars here. In DNA uh, this sugar we call deoxyribose because on the uh, carbon number 2 uh, oxygen is absent. So we call this deoxyribose. So because we have here 20 bases on one strand of the DNA and 20 bases on the other strand of the DNA we can say that here we have 40 dioxyribose. So 40. And uh, next question how many nitrogen base pairs we have here. So we have 20 bases on one strand, 20 bases on the other strand. These bases are complementary. So we have 20 base pairs here. So we put 20 as an answer here. And uh, next question a little bit tricky. How many phosphate groups we have here? As you see on this picture, two adjacent um, bases connected through uh, dioxyribose and through phosphodiester bond. So let's uh, put all these bonds here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So you may say that uh, we have uh, on each strand of the DNA 19 phosphate groups. So 19 on one strand and 19 on the other strand. So this white dot stands for the phosphate group, but this is not so. Actually, uh, for example, if this is going to be 5 prime end here, so here we would have 3 prime end, on the other strand we would have 5 prime end here, and 3 prime end here. And as you see on this picture, every 5 prime end also has 3 phosphate group. So actually number of the phosphate groups would be the same as number of uh, bases. So if we have for example 20 bases here number of phosphate groups would be also 20 but on the 3 prime end we don't have a phosphate group because uh, the units of the DNA strand uh, include all three these elements. One would be base, sugar and phosphate group. And uh, DNA strands grow from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. So this one were the first, then this one were connected to this one and it has phosphate group here that were connected from uh, carbon number 5 of one um, sugar to carbon number 3 of the first sugar and so on. So the last one doesn't have a phosphate group at 3 prime end but the first one has a sugar at the 5 prime end. So once again our answer would be that this uh, strand of the DNA would have 40 phosphate groups. So also free phosphate group would be here at the 5 prime end of the as a strand. And the last question, how many hydrogen bonds we have here? And I have a hint for you. So basis pairs as follows cytogen with guanine and thymine with adenine. I want to give you my uh, mnemonic technique how I memorize uh, which basis has triple bond and which has a uh, double bond. Because uh, C and G looks very similar. Consider them like uh, they are belong to one family. And family members of course uh, look similar and has more ties between them or bonds than uh, in between those uh, members who 
doesn't belong to this family. For example, thymine and adenine don't look uh, alike, so we can say that they have least bonds between them, so we put double bond here. So, once again, cytogen and guanine has triple bond and thymine and adenine has double bond. This is not scientific explanation, this is just uh, a method to memorize which basis has triple bond and which has double bond. This is mnemonic technique. Now we can use this information to answer our last question. So we have a triple bond between each cytosine and guanine and double bond between each adenine and thymine. So triple bond here, double bond here triple bond here and here, double bond here and here, and of course uh, it is very easy to calculate uh, without drawing all the bonds between bases, because we already know that we have eight uh, bases that uh, has double bond and 12 bases that has um, triple bond. I still want to finish all these bonds. So now we can uh, easily calculate. We have 12 triple bonds. So together this give us 36 hydrogen bonds and uh, we have 8 base pairs with double bond that give us 16 uh, hydrogen bonds and together this give us an answer so 36 plus 16 would be 52 hydrogen bonds uh, in this fragment of the DNA. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.